Hey guys, it's Half I am back with a tag video. And of course the dog decided to bark because I started talking again. Okay, this is the Spill the Tea tag, which was created by Liv Loves Her Makeup. I'll leave her link down below. And the questions. I can't remember if I was tagged from by somebody. I think I was at some point. Um, but I can't remember. But I know someone said I should do it, so I'm going to do it. Lexi? Shush. Mummy filming. Uh, this is a really short tag. There's not very many questions, so I'm just going to get into it. Uh, number one is which video were you afraid to post on your channel and why? Um, probably the first video that I did about my mental health um, journey. Um, I was fairly new to YouTube when I actually did it. Uh, it's one of my older videos. I can leave it linked down below. Um, and the main reason I was like dubious about posting it is because, you know, it's, it's, there's some kind of confronting stuff in it and there's always douchebags on the internet who you talk about like traumatizing stuff and they act like jerks about it. And I didn't get any of that out, that happened and it is quite a highly, for me, viewed video. Um, but it was just, I, I was a bit wary about posting it. But I think it was actually more wary about posting like my first video because it was like I didn't really know what I was doing and it's literally it's still on my channel. It's literally just a finger of like a video of my fingers doing this on a tabletop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two, the question is as your channel grows, do you find it more difficult to stick to your original opinions? Uh no. If Something happens that um, changes my opinion for whatever reason, like somebody does something and it changes the way that I view them as a person, then then that's that. But um, I don't feel any pressure to conform to a particular way of being um, or following a particular trend or a particular way of being on YouTube. Um, I mainly follow smaller YouTube channels, um, so individuality is much more highly um, valued in that community and having your own opinion is valued more in those groups um, rather than just flow it, like following the hype type of thing. So, um, and even as my, I mean not that my channel is very big, but even as it grows I don't feel any more pressure to act a particular way or you know, have my opinions be a particular way. I've always been very diplomatic though, so I won't necessarily voice an opinion that I think is going to cause drama because I don't need the drama. So I, it doesn't change how I, my opinions, it just, I just tend to be reticent about voicing ones that um, I know are against the general flow of society because I I don't need to deal with other people's drama, basically. Question number three is, someone leaves you a shitty comment that isn't relevant to the video, do you delete it or respond? It's going to depend on what the video is or what the comment is. I mean, if somebody says something like, you're a fat cow, I'm probably going to respond with, no shit, try harder. Um, because I've got mirrors. I know how I look. I don't need other people making comments. Or, you know, I don't like the way you do your eyebrows. Well then, you know, I'm likely to respond with, well, don't do your eyebrows that way then. I do my eyebrows when I do my eyebrows. No one's asking you to wear them. And if you don't want to look at them, then, you know, just listen to the sound or something. Don't look at the pictures. Um, I haven't had any really nasty comments. Uh, I've had a couple that were like borderline nasty, um, and both of them got responded to um, along the lines of "Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and, res make, and make a comment," which I'm sure is not re the response they expected. But yeah, you know, I, I I just smile and I figure you still watch my video, dumbass. So yeah. Um, number four. 
Tell us how you feel about your ch channel currently. Are you happy? Are you not? Um, I'm basically happy with the content that I put out and like the quality of my videos. I'm sure they could be a billion times better, but I don't have any money. So, <laughs> not, and my videos are not monetized. I don't have enough viewers apart from anything else. Uh, I don't have enough subs to get monetized. So, um, there are... There are times I would like my channel to be bigger, because I've been doing this for a while now. I've been doing this for like three and a half years or something. Um, and I see other people who have literally like four months worth of videos who have like 100k subscribers. And all I can think is you must have bought subscribers. Or you put out a video that went viral and lots of people just sub to you because of that viral video and not because you're actually a good YouTuber or have good content or whatever. Uh, sometimes I feel like I should put out some kind of video that I know is full of drama or something so that more people find my channel and then I think that's not who I am so why would I do that? Um, um, but I know that my view to sub ratio, like my number of views and my number of subs is actually on like the percentages on the higher end, so the majority of people who actually are sub to me are actually watching, which, or like a fairly large proportion of them are actually watching, whereas, you know, like somebody who has 100,000 subs and has like 200 views, you've, you know, a week after their video, go, video goes up, it's like, yeah, you got lots of subs, but nobody's actually watching. So, um, you know, I, sure, I'd like it to be bigger, I'd like to be reaching more people, I'd like to be, you know, particularly with the mental health side of things, I'd like to be helping more people, but it is what it is, it's, I'm not trying to do this as a job, this is just something I enjoy doing, and I'm trying to uh, diversify my kind of like content a bit more, so do a bit more of like the nail art type stuff that I do, I mean that is what I'm trained to do. So, you know, I'd like to be doing more of that kind of stuff. Plus, it's something I, I really, really love. Um, it, I'm sure most people would like their channel to grow. And, you know, that's kind of one of the things that most of us want is for it to grow. My, I mean, my main aim would be to get to the point where I could be monetized on my videos. Just so that I could get something back um, to put back into the channel, so to get better equipment, to get actual lights, because I almost always film with just natural daylight. I'm incredibly lucky because I have a massive great window, like, right there, and even at this time of day, this is like half past four in the afternoon, uh, in winter, like the middle of winter, there's, as you can see, there's a, there's a fair amount of light, it's not like dark and gloomy, so I'm really lucky that way, because not everybody has, like, they're literally floor to ceiling pretty much windows. Um, so I have that benefit of having really good natural light for most of my videos. But yeah, of, of course, my, my channel could always be better. Everything can always improve. So uh, yeah, that is it for this tag. If you are a YouTuber, big, small, medium, whatever, and you happen to watch my videos and you haven't done this tag, I mean, it's super short. It's only four of you, only four questions and they're questions that apply to everybody regardless of what content you put out on your channel so whether you're a gaming channel or a makeup channel or a lifestyle channel whatever it applies to everybody so it's not like genre specific so uh yeah uh, yeah, so that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell if you'd like to get notified of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like tag type videos. If you've got any tags that you think I should do that you haven't seen me do, leave them down below so I can check them out and add them to my filming list. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!